Hi friends, welcome to Circle Time. Let's begin Circle Time with our usual song. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. How is everyone feeling today? Let's look at our chart. Are you feeling excited? Are you surprised? Are you happy? Are you unhappy? Are you angry? Are you tired? Are you afraid? Take a moment to tell me. I'm feeling happy. How about you? Okay, thank you for letting me know how you feel. Let's go over virtual learning rules. Remember to sit nicely. Our hands are still so we can focus better. Ears are listening. Put your listening ears on. Eyes are watching all the time. Pay attention so you can learn something new. And your lips are sip. If you're talking over the teachers, you will not be able to pay attention. Okay, thank you. Now let's say hello to our friend, Grandma. Here's Grandma with the letter of the week. Who remembers? This is our last video. The letter L. Let's sign the letter L. Now let's go over certain things that begin with L. Is this a ladder? Yes, L for ladder. L for lattice. L for lips. L for ladybug. L for lamps and L for lamb. Who remembers our letter L song? Where is L? Let's sing it together. Where is L? Where is L? Here I am, here I am. L stands for L in ladybug and love. L, 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 L. Oh. Now let's find L on our chart. Where is the letter L? Is this the letter L? No, that's the letter C for a cow. Is this the letter L? Yes, very good pointing, friends. It is now calendar time. Who knows? The month that we are in, January. And we are in the last week of January. So today is Wednesday. So let's go over the calendar. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Today is January, Wednesday, the twenty seventh. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. One more time, let's see if you remember. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. 
Now, let's take a moment to look at our, our windows to observe the weather. Let's start with the weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Today, the weather is cloudy. I looked outside and I saw some clouds and I saw the sun hiding behind these clouds. I think it might rain soon. Let's spell out cloudy. C-L-O-U-D-Y. Did you look outside the window? Who can recall the shape of the month? The crescent shape. Where is the crescent shape? Is this the crescent shape? No, this is a star. Is this the crescent shape? No, this is an octagon. Here it is. This is the crescent shape. Very good, friends. This is the last day that we will discuss crescent because we will be entering a new month soon. The color that we've been discussing all month long is the color white. Let's look at some images that are white. Here I have eggs. These eggs are white. And I have a white car. I also have a big, beautiful swan that's white. And I have this big polar bear that's white. Now let's point to the white crayon. This is the last month that we will discuss white. We be entering a new month very soon. Can you find the white crayon? Is this white? No, this is the black crayon. Is this the white crayon? This is the brown. Here it is. Here is the white crayon. Thank you, friends. Now let's say hello to our friend. Gingerbread boy, gingerbread boy wants to remind you to always observe the weather. Pay attention if it's sunny, if it's rainy or cloudy or windy. Here is the windy cloud. The leaves move, kites fly, and sometimes your hat blows away. What weather is it? Yes, it's windy out. Here, who remember what's going here? Water droplets from the skies are falling on you. What weather is it? Yes, it's rainy. The sun is out and you feel hot and sweaty. What's the weather? What is gingerbread doing here? Yes, it is sunny weather. And this is another, this is part of the rain weather. After the rain comes the rainbow. Rainbows are very beautiful. A lot of colors. Okay, say bye-bye gingerbread boy. Thank you for discussing the weather. But first he wants to, I mean, I'm sorry. He wants to end with a message. He said, I've learned so
so much about the weather this week. Thank you for solving the riddles. The title of this book is Who Likes the Rain? Remember, during story time, we look, listen, and learn. Let's open the first page. Who likes the rain? I do, said the duck. I call it fun. With pretty red rubbers, I can run. They make a little three-toed track. In the soft, wet mud, quack, quack. Who likes the rain? I do, cry the dandelion. My roots are thirsty, my buds are dry. And she raised her pretty yellow head out of the grassy bed. That's a dandelion. Who likes the rain? I sure... Hope it will rain and pour, croak the tree toad in his bark door. For me, a broad leaf with a roof is perfectly waterproof. Who likes the rain? Who is this here? The farmer. I do, said the farmer, planting a seed. But there's something else I need. Let the water soak to make some mud and I will come out fine. Then it will come out a fine bud. Who likes the rain? I laugh, sang the brook at every drop and wish they never stop. Then a big river I will be so I can find my way to the sea. Who likes the rain? I do, said the big trunk of tree. No one likes the rain more than me. I need it for my bud to sprout and help leaves to come out. So the leaves also need rain. Who likes the rain? I do, shouted Ted, for I can run from my high boots. I, I can have fun through every big puddle and pool on the road. I skip to school. D and Since we are discussing rain, we are going to do a movement because dragon loves when we move our bodies to the itsy bitsy spider. Let's move our bodies. So everybody stand up and follow along. First, dragon wants us to pretend we're climbing a spout. Climb, 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 climb. Climb, climb. Next, we fall down. So let's fall down at the sun. There's the bright sun. There's the sun. And now let's climb again. Continue, friends. Good job moving your bodies. For this home activity, we will create it. We will be creating, I'm sorry, a letter L ladybug. So we will need black paper and red paper and a marker. If you don't have black paper, it's okay. A marker will be just fine. So Let's begin our ladybug. Oh, of course, you also need some glue and scissors, glue and scissors. So let's cut two L shapes. And now a longer piece. Here's 
my L for ladybug. And I will glue it on some white paper. Make my L a little shorter. letter L. Now let's make a fun ladybug. Just cut a little thin one. More strips here. And now let's make some dots. Moms, you can also cut small black circles so the child can do more. Look, does it look like a ladybug? Yes. Let's cut out a head. I cut a semicircle for a head. And two antennas. And here is my ladybug L. What do you think? For our next home activity, we will need two pieces of construction paper, blue and white. We will be drawing rain clouds and labeling the number up to 10 because that is the number of the week. Then we will cut up raindrops optional and you just put them around. So you will of course need scissors, a marker, and like I said, two pieces of paper. So let's begin. Here's one, one, two, three clouds, four. This is what I have so far. Let's see what else can we put. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten clouds. Now let's cut some raindrops. Let's 
Quindi. Another ranger. Let's go with our paper. Easier cutting. Two more raindrops. And glue it next to each number. like this you can continue look how nice cloud something you can save and go over your numbers thank you for coming to circle time see you next time